Hi guys! In this video, you'll see how the actors of the movie Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines 2003 have changed. You'll know their real names and age. I will show you how they look then and what's with them now in 2023. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Kate Brewster is related to Robert and also knows John well. In dangerous situations, she can maintain clarity of mind, quickly make the necessary decisions and is able to perform medical manipulations both animals and people. Terminator clearly follows the program task but still succumbs to John's entreaties. He may not be technically up to the new Terminators but is more cunning and intelligent at times. He is capable of self-sacrifice. He was played by Arnold Schwarzenegger. John Connor is under Terminator protection. He doesn't know how to enjoy every minute of life because he knows the upcoming future and also has some rejection of the future. Able to show willpower and can be assertive. The role is performed by Nick Stahl. Robert Brewster is a high-ranking military man who is assigned to lead important computer projects. He is often unable to properly prioritize has a high dedication to work, can think logically and doesn't rely entirely on chance. He was played by David Andrews. Scott Patterson was in a serious romantic relationship with Kate, with whom he wanted to marry. He is not one of the silent guys, who is also not very patient, but in general has a gentle nature, able to make informed decisions. He was played by Mark Famiglietti. Dr. Peter Silverman is a police officer, but he performs his duties superficially and thinks in patterns. Although he specializes in psychology, he tries to abstract himself from reality. Played by Earl Boyne, who died of lung cancer in 2023. Betsy Moira Harris is the owner of Hercules and one of Kate Brewster's clients. She can act unceremoniously and is not very patient, especially when it comes to her pet. She has more pity for animals than people and believes that her needs should be a priority. Chief Engineer Chopper Barnett is part of the Robert Brewster's team. He knows how to work in a team, is not selfish and knows how to delegate responsibilities without belittling others and capable of thinking big and didn't take the danger of Skynet seriously. Rich woman was able to take place in life and independently reach certain career heights. She doesn't differ in surface, is not inclined to show arrogance, at least sometimes it's a little mannered, able to show empathy. The role was played by Carolyn Hennessy. Cop West Side Street is part of a patrol that moves through neighborhoods looking for troublemakers. He is quick to react to the situation at hand, never misses a beat, though he is somewhat soft on pretty girls' offenders. Roadhouse Bouncer works at Desert Star Owners. He clearly knows his duties and has a certain reputation among local visitors, thanks to which he maintains the rules in the institution, but at the same time doesn't strain himself too much. Played by M.C. Ganey. Roadhouse Club Goer number 1 he is one of the regular customers of Desert Star. She is not used to being ashamed of her desires, likes to emphasize her dignity and accepts herself for who she is. She tried to attract the attention of men. She was played by Susan Merson. Roadhouse Club Goer number 1 Elizabeth Moorhead is a fan of male striptease and doesn't miss a single show at Desert Star, where she is willing to fight with others for the best seats. She's not without a sense of rhythm and has a keen sense of music in her body. Angry Man Billy Lucas has a minor accident because of John. He can be quite jumpy in many situations and has a generally irascible temper. He is used to acting first, thinking later, doesn't tend to resolve conflicts quickly and may even provoke them. 
Bill Anderson was one of Connor's loyal associates at the stage when Skynet took over humanity. Up to that point, he had led a pretty carefree life, having a lot of fun and at times could show in maturity and even some fear of his parents, played by Brian Sides. Bill's girlfriend, Alana Curry, is sociable and rather friendly towards her surroundings and unfamiliar people. She's not known for her steadfast nature, tending to panic if faced with the unknown and cruelty, which was especially evident when meeting TX. KTLA Anchorman is active, not accustomed to silence, and always tries to cover only real and up-to-date news affecting people's lives. Can improvise, has a good memory and reading speed. Laid by Larry McCormick, who passed away from cancer in 2004. Gas station cashier John Foster is not inclined to philosophize and talk about the sublime. For him, everyday problems are the priority and he is more worried about the fact that he will miss his favorite TV shows. Knows how to act in unusual situations. SWAT team leader, together with his team, is involved in the most difficult situations when prompt resolution of the problem is necessary. He is not used to ranting, close mutual understanding, and when employees clearly follow his commands. Detective Martinez works in the same department as Edwards, with whom he maintains a good relationship. He is not devoid of humanity, has some luck, and is distinguished by agility. He gets used to finishing wherever he starts. The role is performed by Mark Hicks. Detective Edwards, Kim Robillard, is somewhat of an antithesis to Martinez, but works well with him on work matters. He is characterized by balanced behavior, knows how to maintain a balance in dealing with suspects without crossing the line of what is permitted. Second engineer is involved in a major project under the command of Brewster. He doesn't differ in surface, is not inclined to act impulsively, and feels most comfortable when he has several scenarios for the development of the situation. Played by Chris Hardwick. Third engineer, Helen Edinburgh, is part of a special group that deals with secret government projects. It's common for her to carefully check information before reporting to her superiors, and is also meticulous about any change in the situation with the virus. Jose Barrera was not ambitious and worked in the fast food industry. Despite this, he didn't express his displeasure with customers and was polite. He became one of the targets of TX as he actively assisted John in the future. He was played by Robert Alonso. Paramedic number one, Michael Papajohn, has been involved in urgent calls for quite a long time to provide the necessary medical care to people. He is used to working clearly, smoothly, and is not very impressionable, but Terminator was able to shock him unspeakably. Mr. Jones is one of the members of the computer division who reports directly to General Brewster. He wallets his comfort and doesn't really follow the office dress code able to stay focused in increased noise and multitasking. The role is played by Rick Zeev. Mr. Smith is one of John's colleagues. He is excellent versed in programming and good in modern computer equipment. Smith can spot relevant information in a fraction of a second and quickly analyze any changes in the data. The role is played by William O'Leary. Paramedic Stevens works in tandem with a colleague and goes to calls at any time of the day or night. His movements have been worked out to automatism. He is not afraid of danger and is ready to immediately begin resuscitation of a person. TX is Skynet's ruthless technological development in which they removed all the previous shortcomings of the Terminators. It has full integration with technology and can even find all the necessary information for a cell phone. Played by Kristana Loken. 
Semi-truck driver delivers cargo at any distance. He is a confident driver who respects the rules of the road and responds quickly to the current situation on the road, differs in ingenuity and knows how to recognize danger. He was played by George A. Sack Jr. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share it on social networks, like it, and of course, subscribe to the channel.